Okay, so this is a tutorial for Plastic Hearts by Newton Faulkner. I've seen a lot of people wanted to um, know how to play it, so I thought I'd actually do this for you guys. Now, the tuning for the guitar itself is going to be... Uh, dad, sorry about that, Dad Gad, so D... Then A... D... G... A and then D. Now, what you're going to what you're going to want, so you can have it in, in the same uh, pitch as the recording, you're going to need a capo on the fourth fret of the guitar. So, just going to strum a bit with this capo here. There we go. So that's going to give you dad gab, obviously, up to uh, four semi times. So. Basically, there are four chords that are song. So you've got this here, which is your index finger on the fifth fret of the A string. So the so that's the note you've got there, and then your ring finger on the seventh fret of the G string. So basically, it gives you that octave. Now you're going to want to drop that for the next chord, just down to the second fret of the A string, with your index finger, and then with your ring finger you're going to want the 4th fret of the G string. So again, just another octave. For the next chord, you've got, you're going to want to do the 2nd fret of the D string, the low D string, and then the 2nd fret of the middle G, D string. And then you're just going to slide that up to the 4th frets. So altogether, throughout the song, you've got the... So that's basically the four chords. Now, throughout the song, Newton is doing basically slap bass kind of stuff, so kind of slap and pop. So, for the first actual part, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit the A string with the side of your thumb. So. that so you're getting a nice crisp sound out of it. Now what you do with that afterwards is after you've actually struck the A string, you're actually hammering on the fifth fret with your index finger of the A string. So so that's the first part. And then after you've hammered on the on the, to the A string, you're then going to hammer on without picking the strings. You're actually going to hammer on to the seventh fret on the G string. So, so then that brings the octave note in there. So, so that's basically what you're looking for there. Now once you've hammered on the 7th fret with your ring finger, you're then going to want to pluck with your index finger on your right hand, you're going to want to pluck the G string again. So... So that's basically what you've got there. So once you've done that, you then drop it down to the 2nd fret, or the 2nd chord that I showed you. With, so the second fret of the A string, and then you strike the open A string again. But what you're doing there is hammering on to the second fret with your index finger on the A string. And then the same same again with as as the way you did with the first chord. You're just going to repeat the motion. So. through that slowly and then we'll move on to the next part. So all together at the moment you've got so that's the move that's what you've got there so far. Now after you've done the this part here he has a little um, a little riff that goes in which is so what you're actually going to want to do there is, after you've done
done that, you're going to want to use your middle finger on your on your picking hand. Now I know he doesn't do it, he forms his hand, his thumb and index finger like a pick, but it, I think it's just a little bit easier to use just individual fingers. So after he, you've done that second hammer on and plucked it, you then pick the A string with your middle finger. you've done the A string, you then have a little bend on the high D, high D string. So basically the note you're bending up to, you're looking for the note which would be the 5th fret. So, so you're actually wanting to bend the note like this. So it's literally just a half, a half tone bend. So after you picked that, after you've done the whole part, which is this, so once you've bent it up, you then bend it back. You've then release for the fourth fret note again. And once you've done that, you then just pull up. You just pull off from the fourth fret to give you the open D again. So all together with that section, it's. So at the moment, what we've got is so that's the first part you've got there. Now, for the second set of chords, you're just going to do the same thing. So it's going to be on the second fret of the D strings. So that's the for that chord, and then you've got this chord here as well. But after you finish the the chord on the fourth fret, you're actually going to remove your finger from the fourth fret of the middle D and pluck the open. So you've got. That's basically how that section goes. Now there's a little riff that goes back into that brings him back into the into that section there, which is just simply using your thumb to slap the open D, the low open D, and basically hammering on frets two and four. So So that's basically that section there. And then what you want to do is with your index finger, you actually want to pluck the middle D and repeat the same riff. So all together. So just an octave kind of, you know, lick. I actually struggled to learn how to play that at one stage because it was quite fast when played in context with the song. Now, the easiest way for you to actually get that to speed and get comfortable with it is just literally to just repeat the lick over and over again. So that's basically that section there. Now, the second part is essentially the same, except apart from having this bit here, he does another little run. So it's actually... So basically you're doing the same hammer-on patterns, but just backwards and on the high D and the A string. So what I'll do is I'll put the first part into context and then we'll go through the second part. So at the moment you've got... first section. Now, for the second section you're repeating exactly the same hammer-on pattern. So you're doing the whole... When 
you get there, rather than doing the the original part, which is rather than doing that, you're actually doing, as I mentioned, the now the way I do it is actually using my ring finger on the D string and the middle finger on the A string, to just to make it a little bit easier. So you'll have. So again, you just want to repeat that so you can get that up to speed and make it a little bit easier for you. So, when you get to the third time round, it just literally repeats the first section, so... until you get to the chorus. Now the chorus is um, kind of can, can be a bit tricky. Um, basically you're actually not picking any of the notes for the chorus section, you're actually hammering it all on for the chords. So... So basically you're doing that, now this is this is the trickiest part, so when you when you hammer that on, you you keep it going or you have it with a bass a bass thump which is on done around this area here on the bottom of the guitar so 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 then you've got so you do that twice. So you do the, you do the hammer on twice. So. So that's basically that part. Now for the second part or the second chord, when you hammer on the first time for that second chord, again you have to, you need to hit the hit the guitar in that area and do a bass thumb. So at the moment you've got. So that's that's that part there. So after you've done the, you then got so. So basically, in between the beats, you've got another couple of hammer-ons to do. So so basically, hammer on and beat, hammer on again, hammer on beat. After you've done the the second beat, you do a hammer on again, followed by a slap on this section of the guitar here. Or you can use, I mean, you can use your fingers or your nails. It all depends on how you want that to sound. So. So just repeat it like that, so so really slowly. So just repeat that slowly. Now after this slap here, you've got another hammer on, so. Basically, you move up to the second, uh, third, and fourth chords. So then you're doing the. So you're basically doing the same pattern, just moving it to the third and fourth chords. So all together, for the first section, you're going to have this, and then for the second section, you're going to have this. So that's basically.
basically all you've got there. Now, that's the majority of the structure of the song. There's only one little change, and it's basically where he goes into the falsetto. So there you were, and then you were gone in the morning. Um, all you're actually doing there is this is the that's the simplest part. You're literally just doing this. So the first chord. So literally all you're doing is just plucking them with your thumb and your index finger. So So you do that basically four times around. Oh sorry, this is for the um after that, after the where he's where he sings there there you are and then you're gone in the morning. This is where he goes back into plastic hearts before the percussive riff again. So it's plastic hearts. So there's only one change. It's on the fourth fourth time round of that of that pattern. So so all you're doing is and that is literally all you're doing in that section. Now that's the majority of the song. So this will be the this will be end of the the end of the tutorial. If you do need any help with anything feel free to message me, I can kind of reshoot the video and maybe go into depth in, in the entire song rather than just covering each separate part but I mean just spend a few, spend a while on the video, I'll also link the video that I learned this from so watching one of him, one of his videos actually, him playing it, I'll link that in there as well so you can kind of get a feel for the timing as well but hopefully this has helped you out guys, if it has please feel free to like the video, share it with your friends who want to learn it and also subscribe to my channel. If I get enough demand, I'll also put out some more Newton Faulkner covers and, you know, just general covers and tutorials as well. So, thank you guys.